Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the update for the Happy Blue Year project for you. This project was kind of created within the Discord chat um, that Alexia and Rebecca created, as you guys probably already know. For that Lux, I've read of course is linked down below, was kind of the one that spurred this on and got us all together to like really organize this. Yeah. Um, it's blue teams. It's all about a blue year, year of the ox, year, year. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Let's jump in and take a look at the products that I've been working on. And I'm just gonna start off with something that probably won't come as a surprise. The goodness Bayless and Harding uh, Sea Kelp and Peppermint Shower Gel is done. I really only had the tiniest bit less left last time, so it took me two or three uses and it was done. Yeah, didn't love this one, so I don't mind this is out. Right now I have the Philosophy Cinnamon Buns shower gel, and that smells so good. That definitely is more up my alley than this something. Anyway, moving on to other... No, wait. Mm, starting off with this one, actually. This one has been in uh, the longest as well. After that is the Epocalypse uh, Lip Lacquer from Rimmel in Apocalyptic wearing it right now and I really love this shade I've been loving this for a while that I'm like still really happy that I'm using this on a pretty much daily basis now I had used this 41 times before I've used it another 17 times and with times I mean days so it might have been two or three times as well um, it brings me to a total of 58 uses at the very least and it's not done yet but I notice when I put or like when I take the doe foot, is that what it's called, out, it isn't always fully covered anymore, which has to mean that I'm getting a little bit lower there. Of course, when I swirl around my brush, I do actually get proper windows as well now, but it's still kind of hard to see where I really am. Um, so I even try it like shining in with a flashlight, but this black is like just full on black, so it's really hard to see through. But I feel like the end is near-ish. <laughs> Still gonna take me quite a while probably to get through this. I wouldn't be surprised if it's gonna take me at least three or four months still, but I'm hoping that within the next two months or so I might be able to take out the stopper and <laughs> really see where I'm at. And I'd probably be surprised and still be working on this for the rest of the year, but yeah. Progress is being made, even though it's really hard for me to see the progress. I feel like I'm getting there with this one, slowly but surely. Then moving on to, I believe the next product that I rolled in after that, this one is a Jelly Pong Pong Lip Blush um, Jelly, so this one was tea themed I've only used this once over the last month just because I noticed that I was trying to focus on multiple things at once and I just didn't make the progress that I wanted to make on either of them really. So I've decided that the Apocalyptic lip lacquer is going to be my main thing to focus on and every now and then when I feel like a wrap makes more sense I will grab for this but the pink uh, lip lacquer is definitely the thing that I'm focusing on the most so there probably really isn't any progress on this one from that one use that I did but let's see yeah I like using it though but it's it's just not my main focus right now then let me see, I think this was the next thing that rolled in, the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte um, Creamy Powder Blush in So Taupe. I'm using this on a pretty much daily basis as kind of like my contour, which always looks weird when I see it in the viewfinder, but anyway, I do like feel like I can really start to see there is like this little stripe bump in the pan, I guess. And I can start to see that a little bit more. I have no idea how far away I'm from actually hitting pan on this one, but yeah, progress is being made. You can see it's been used. I just, yeah, I'm not like contouring my whole, my whole face. I'm just doing like little bits on the side. So, and this is like pigmented enough and dark enough, but the cool toned like view of it like really works well for my skin tone. And like just my skin being a little bit lighter as well. So I'm only like really like dipping my brush in and then it's enough. But 
for making progress i really like using this one and this was my lucky charm actually i have used one of these up before and i repurchased because it just works for me then um we have the maybelline fit me powder and this has some blue on the packaging so it fits the prompt blue packaging and i'm making some progress on this one um it seems like i'm mainly dipping in my brush kind of on this side which you'll probably be able to see better in the close-up than from this far away but uh yeah it's a powder i don't really have any specific feelings about it uh, but we're making progress on it i'm also using this every day of course just like powdering off my face and my t-zone and then i'm spritzing a little bit of finishing spray so that is why i still have a bit of a glow which i like i don't want a fully matte face but yeah I'm working on it no huge progress or anything yet but we're making progress uh, I'm using it every day so yeah then this one I rolled in last update this is the Lancome uh, eyeshadow which has a bit of a cool tone flip to it that you barely see but it is there so I was allowed to roll it in um, I'm using this mainly as my eyeliner pretty much every day and Say about two thirds of the time also using this in my outer V to darken things up a little bit I'm making progress on it but it is very hardly pressed it's really hard for me to like really see any difference on it I wanted to try and see if I could hit side pen on it and I did not get there even though every time I was like taking out the product for my eyeliner especially I was kind of just really like not digging into but going into the side because it's a small brush so it's a bit easier to target a specific area i did not get there uh, just because it is very hardly pressed i did get color payoff so it's not like it's not working anymore or it's like hard pen or something it's just moving very slowly um you guys will probably be looking at like a comparison somewhere around here now so you might be able to see at least a little bit of expansion in that pan I hope <laughs> there is some expansion because I've used up a good few blacks before but this one even though the pen is really small definitely seems to be one of the harder blacks that I've been working on I don't know but yeah I'm using this on a pretty much daily basis it's it's just a black so <laughs> it's gonna take me some time to get all the way through it and then because I'm rolling out a product the shower gel of course it's time to roll in something new as well and i have decided to go back to my amuse palette i've already hit three pans in it so why not work on a fourth one um, this time i've decided to go with the prompt um, something that complements blue and of course when you look kind of in the color wheel i guess blue and orange are right across from each other so orange is the complementary color to blue and since we're going into spring and summer, I thought that this shade was a perfect shade to roll in right now. It's kind of like a peachy, orangey shade. Um, yeah, so that is what I'm going to be rolling in as my next product to work on. Um, like I've said in a few updates for other projects before, my 365 days of eyeshadow project is probably going to wrap up soon. So... I feel a bit more confident that I can actually make progress on some eyeshadows in other projects now as well. So even though I'm a little afraid that this is gonna like not be as oppressive like progress wise over the next few updates, I'm hopefully gonna be able to surprise myself when I don't have like 30 different other colors to try and get through in a month's time as well. So yeah, that is the one that I'm rolling in. It's a really like soft nice shade that should be quite easy to just kind of put on like either my lids transition shade maybe even inner corner depending on like the look that i'm wearing and how dark the rest of the shades are but yeah it's a very subtle shade so it should be easy enough to incorporate in eye looks um trying to see what my goals are gonna be for next time i definitely want to try and see if i can hit actual side panel on that black i think it should be possible but i've been thinking that for a good while now but let's see apart from that i don't think there is a whole lot of like significant progress that you're going to be able to see on these products these two if i hit pen it's going to be a surprise i don't know how close i am 
to actually doing that and for this one i'm just hoping to be able to take out the stopper soon ish but it's definitely going to be my main focus for like a colored lip product at the moment apart from that i'm just gonna have fun play around with these products and uh yeah that is it for today thank you guys very much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my next videos bye bye